We were in the tournament. We're back. Get ready, it says. Okay, here we go. Erexor. Bullet tournament. You want to play the Scandinavian. Don't mind. We don't mind this. I love that. Okay, I'm, I'm even happier than I thought I would be. Now you just get ready for something like this. You wouldn't. You know what? We're going we're going caveman mode pawn storm strategies. Yeah, you don't want to be a coward. It's bullet. <laughs> we knew the the queenside castle was coming. It was like a guarantee. It's not what I wanted to see to be honest with you. It's a bit of a spicy game. Knight to e5 seems pretty powerful. On the other hand, you could just ignore it, I suppose. Hmm, okay, I will. And then we'll block up this open file. I have very limited attacking prospects. That's one of them, I think. <laughs> it's not really good, but uh, it does do something. Hey, look at this. We got like a past pawn or something. What's up with that? Hmm. Please do. I think this seems okay. Despite, I mean, we're even on time. Doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother me. Still doesn't bother me. Still doesn't bother me. We can't do the check at the back rank. We need the bishop to be gone first. I think we get the queen here. So I have no problems with that. Create an escape route for the king. Let's go. Okay, first game, first win. Whew, bit of a spicy one. You okay, Tomo? You doing well? It got a little hot towards the end there, but, but mission accomplished. Okay, you got to play a little faster this time. Got to play a little faster this time. 1829. It's a dangerous game. You know, we, we let the pawn go. We let the pawn go on this one. We don't trade the bishop. That's for certain. I'm worried that they have technology that I'm not familiar with. Is it possible that they're operating on some higher level of tech? Anything's possible, man. But we're going to show them not all 1500s are bad. Uh, we <laughs> really want to castle queenside. <laughs> No, don't do that one. Do this one. This is fine. I don't know how we're going to stop this. <laughs> Still pretty bad. Okay, just push it, I guess. No forks, please. Got to be very careful about, a, about a, the possibility of a fork here. Now we start working them down, you know? I, I blew it. I blew it. Actually, officially blew it. We were up queen versus nothing. No, my rook! <laughs> Yet somehow, it freaking fell apart, man. Ah, geez, Louise. You know what? That's why he's 1800. He didn't give up on that one. Well done. Well done. That was a good game. We had our chance. Let it slip. Also known as uh, the nature of the beast in Bullet. Playing against a 1663 here. 1663, you know, who chooses to play a a very, um, I mean, let's call it like we see it here. 
chooses to play a little bit of a cowardly game. Nothing wrong with it necessarily. It's just not exactly the, the most exciting uh, chess you could play. Let's destroy this uh, queenside pawn rush, hopefully. No, we don't want to do that one. Let's do this one instead. I don't love our current position. That's something I'll admit readily. I thought that move was pretty sick, though. <laughs> we're close to this. We're not quite there yet, but we're close to it. Am I okay? Because if, if I'm... If, oh, this is so good! Look at this. Look at this. It's beautiful. <laughs> Delightful. Look at this. My man is like... He, he, just let it drip. Let it drip. It's done. Look at that. That's tactics, baby. That's tactics. The ghost of Mikhail Tall has allowed us to, to do a small upset here. Okay, 1534. I, I choose not to accept this gambit, personally. I let you take. If you want to take, I understand. I wouldn't be upset. Um, okay, I understand as well. Uh, I, hold on. <laughs> Otherwise, we could lose our bishop quite easily. Otherwise, we don't sweat it. You're going to castle. I'll give you a quick one of these. You may repeat the same. Hmm. Really? You want to trade both both bishops? I wouldn't assume. But you're kind of doing it. Perhaps I'm the insane one, but this doesn't seem so bad. I love that we have both bishop pairs. Very little that I'm, I, I hate about this. Okay, I, I see, I see. You know what? Let's get insanely weird. Don't, don't, don't do that. I don't know precisely what's happening. I feel like... Probably gave up a little too much there, but just hold the door. You gotta, you gotta go a little faster. Don't blame you. Obviously, I, how could I blame you on this one? Just gonna be real. I didn't know how much time we had <laughs> when I saw that we had. Uh, we had 0 0.02 seconds. I was like, this one, let's, let's just accept the fact that we're coming into this one with a loss. Okay, this is someone who does not like chess. This is someone who's playing exclusively to win on time. That's okay, it happens. It, it happens to a, an alarming degree, honestly. Like, we're, we're facing epidemic proportions of gamers who don't actually enjoy the game of chess. And instead, pretty much just want to, like, move as fast as possible. And I, I do embrace it. You know, if that's the way you want to live your life, don't let me stop you. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing here. I think that's fine, though. I would like to take... Don't mind. Go ahead. This is what happens when, when you play against gamers who don't actually wish to play chess. You can get yourself in situations like this where the, the chess is not really chess anymore. It's, it's just literally who can move fast. Remind you of anybody? 
<laughs> this is this is now looking pretty sweet. I think we got to be a little careful here. Just relax. This is made in one if he takes the bishop. He did not take the bishop. We don't want to. We don't want to engage yet. Hit him with something like this. I lost on time. Freaking time, man! Every single time, he got me. That's that's what hurts the most. I called it right from the beginning of the game that he just wants to play as fast as possible, and he he stole a Daniel-sized win off of us. Really makes you think. I don't know what I'm do dude, I'm looking like I don't want to win. What is this what is this pawn structure? <laughs> what is this nightmare? <laughs> this is the Queen's pawn opening with uh one to c6 as the uh as the secondary move. Oh, close it up. Close it up, baby. Then I'm like, let's start attacking right here. Oh, you, excuse me? I, I assure you, long term, this is not where you want your head to be. I don't, you think I'm castling? I see, I see your point. This game is uh, is a bit of a wild one. I would say to a, to a certain extent, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. I'm also down on time, which is uh, heavy no thank you. Ten seconds. This is still okay. What am I doing? That ah, oh, my queen. <laughs> All right, a little spice, a little spice. I think we're two and four. Is that correct? Two and four. Let's keep it moving. Keep it moving. Dude, I'm here's like this is a a bit of a BM question, don't get me wrong. But I am kind of like wondering where the heck are my uh where's my like one hundred level players? Where's my nine hundreds? Fourteen hundred, you know, like it's real. It's a real gamer right there. I would I would take that deal. I would take that deal in a heartbeat, man. Where's my free wins, though? Here we go. This is not what it's all about. Why? You just gave him the night, man. What are you doing? You, I've I've lost the ability to play the 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 sport of kings known as chess. Man, my other move was gonna get me taken there. It's all right. I mean, it, come on, you you, you want to go for a repetition draw? I don't think so. Honestly, the man has just lost the. Uh, <laughs> he's just lost the sauce. Just lost my grip on the board there. Two and five. Okay. We're slipping down. We're, we're in 350 of 1200. How can you be so far down and playing against 1580s? Like. Okay. I would understand why this could be a bit of a spiced move. Give me, give me like I I need the momentum driver here. Oh, that's that's spicy. Yeah, we're we're about to get forked here. How about that, man? 
Sorry, don't fall apart. Still living. One, oh, that's a literal misclick. <laughs> don't trade. Don't trade me. What am I doing? Get me out of here, man. This is okay. Take, take a second and recenter. We're two and six. This is an embarrassment. You got to get some confidence back. I don't play the Scandinavian. I play the Blackburn Klosterborg Gambit. The client. Okay, we're playing against a 1390. Apparently, that's about our speed right now. Please do. Please do. Love having the bishop pair and bullet. Don't mind that in the least. Please do. Please do. Please do. Okay. All of a sudden, things are looking rosy. <laughs> Please do. Honestly, I love this. Fundamentally, like, zero problems with this. You're not going to take me. Let's be realistic. This feels better. Okay, there we go. Free win. Give me more. Give me more. We're ranked 290. 1547. I played the Blackborn Klosterborg Gambit. Honestly, have never seen this line in, in my entire life. This is the line of somebody who wishes to castle as soon as possible. Tomo, what are you doing over there, buddy? Literally just forked myself for no reason. <laughs> okay. You know, that's that's where the Blackburn close... I resign. I resign. You got me. Next match. Okay. This is... I, I like playing the Blackburn Cloister board. So this is, this is nice for me. This happens a lot, actually. Um, play against a lot of people who love to sacrifice a knight at F3. Now, I'm in no position to say whether or not it's a, a good play, because clearly, like, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, but this is what usually happens. You find yourself substantially, or substantially down a material. The only piece that's moved is your queen. In theory, you know, there's, like, some good attacking prospects, but, like, at some point, you'd probably like to move another piece, is my expectation. Okay. <laughs> sure. And now the queen goes on the move yet again. There it goes. You know what? If you want to prevent me from cast... Oh, you probably just take this, right? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. Oh, I can't I can't castle through this? Oh, because I've already moved my king. You know what? That's fine. I still feel like we're highly safe. And the queen has done almost nothing. And then that's what happened. Okay, time. This is a timing-based play now. Next game. Feels good. Feels good. Nine seconds is more than you need. Four and seven. Let's get ourselves back here. It has not been a banner performance so far. I decline to play the game the way you wish it to be played. Don't mind. Don't mind. Love that center control. Definitely queenside or kingside castle. Quick little push never hurt anybody. Feeling pretty solid about this. Feeling 
feeling feeling very developed as compared to the uh, the alternative. This is all for the pawn, huh? Like if you go ahead, if, if you want the pawn, I think you've given up too much for it. Quite frankly, they still don't want it, man. Okay, well then I'll just do that. Then I'll throw in a little defense. So I think you've got to go. I'm willing to lose uh, to trade the knight for the bishop here to make it happen. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. I think we like it. I think we, we like this a lot. Time is of the essence. There's no doubt there. Sorry, this just requires a little more focus than I'm used to. I can't... You know what? I, I'll take. I'll take. You bested me on that one. We can force the king back one. Not really. It turns out. Four seconds, we win. Okay. Tough one. That was a tough one, but you know what? We we got two wins in a row for the first time in a little bit. 243 out of 1403. We're on a two streak. Keep it moving. Okay. Hearts me. We appear to be playing against a little baby. Playing against a little baby. Nothing wrong with that, you know? Babies play chess. Go brush your shoulders off. Please do. Please do. We got the bishop. I'm going to castle kingside here. And we're going to we're going to try to keep this queen on the move. I wish there was something better. <laughs> the swap actually is not so bad, I think, now that I look at it. We threaten the fork. Okay, just hold on. Give it Oh, we we still like it. We still get the pawn. That's a very strange move in my world. Don't go there. Go here. That's the, literally the... I wanted the other rook. I was in the pool! Please do. Please do. Please do. You don't want to get that spicy. I've been there. I, I wouldn't want to get that spicy either. How we doing? Little down on time, but not so bad. We don't sweat that. We have great plays here. It involves getting the queen off of this diagonal. We need... Yes, please do. Scared. Scaredy cat. It's like I'm looking at the position. We're even in material. I thought I might be able to get him with a quick bait. You got to move a little faster. Oh my god, my time, dude. My freaking time. That hurts. We lost to a baby. Okay, next match. Next match. 255 of 1459. This is someone who merely wishes to move as fast as possible. I can tell from the pixels. This is you usually you wouldn't castle queenside with such a strong uh, bishop over there, but you know what? Rules were were made to be broken. Mm, probably wouldn't follow it up with that. You know what? I don't mind. Screws up the pawn structure, something fierce, but I don't really mind. We just can't afford to get pinned, which is, like, very likely to happen. If we play this differently. Now we can do it. How are we doing? Tied on material? I 
I think I can beat them. I'm I'm betting that I can beat them. When when it counts. I think I love this exchange. Maybe I hate this exchange. That's checkmate! What a great checkmate! Oh, they had 26 seconds left too. That was good. That was good. Okay. Now we're get, we're getting back into the 1300s. I can live with that. I can live with some 1300 gaming. Please push. Please push. It's my favorite. Hey, you jerk. It's my favorite kind of game when you push that. And yet you choose cowardice. Again and again, you choose cowardice. Oh, do it. Do it. Just take it. <laughs> it wouldn't... <laughs> Just take it. The permutations are running wild. Silvio. Silvio! It's a little BM, brother. That's a little BM. If you're like... You're hoping the tournament will just end before you have to meet a resolution here. I think he just had to go to the, the, the toilet, man. So I should note, I have like no idea whether this was right. But it certainly felt very cool. Easy win. Okay, we got a minute 51. We're going for a win by checkmate. on uh, Dude, how, I play Oliver Handsome like every day. Oh, he bong clouded! He's a memer! Official memer status. I told you I play Oliver Handsome every day. Look, what, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> you have no pawns on the king side. What are you doing? Let me move. Let me move. Okay. Now this this is threatening. Wouldn't you suggest? There are some threats to be had here. Time, time! What do I like here? That's good. Look, I'm going to be honest, he did bong cloud. Like, as soon as you roll the bong cloud, like, you know, you're not exactly, like, expecting uh, to win, I think. I'm, I'm losing my rook here anyway, okay? Saved. But I am out in no man's land. I'm losing a bishop, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Either way, it's pretty bad. I th What's happening, man? Like, I think we're both playing like garbage. I think this was a deliberate throw. And that, that hurts. Like, I'm not above taking a win in a, in a deliberate throw. But I feel like, yeah, I'm, I'm with Chad on that one. That one feels a little bit like, like paid actor. Oh my god, someone went 14 and 0. Either way, we finished 239 out of 1597. Wasn't my best uh, performance, but it wasn't too bad. 1485 in classical, 1402 in uh, blitz, 2102 in bullet. Seems legit. Three fifty eight in classical, two oh seven in uh, blitz, and five twenty eight in bullet. Seems seems legit. Eighteen forties for real though. Endless nightmare went eleven of fifteen. That's not so bad. We got about ten minutes left here. Let's um, excuse me. Yeah, you can get off my screen here. We can play another 
Let's let's play some like uh, maybe one five minute game. It's gonna feel like we have so much time to think. They have played the English opening. Um, I don't mind trying to transpose into the Caro Con off of that. This is an opening that I'm a little bit more familiar with at this point. Uh, you're supposed to develop the bishop. You know what? This bishop's trash anyway. I appreciate it. We don't take. However, what we do do is this. Probably bishop to d2. I think we're in the driver's seat. What a delightful move. So it looks like this. You think they think they've got us, but check this out. They take, we take, check. We take here. Nothing wrong with that. We do have knight versus bishop, but I'm not worried about that too much. Let's put a threat on this. They're probably forced to play that. Unless they, they could push, I suppose. This is like, oh, okay, interesting. Ah, now I can't castle. I did not mean to do that. I meant to move rook a8 to b8. <laughs> this is uh, substantially worse. Substantially worse than what we were dealing with a mere moment ago. No doubt about that. I think I, I clicked accidentally. Yeah, I disabled, or I, I, you can't disable click move. Heard they recently added more clicks. I still don't mind this position too much. I'm optimistic we, we can get control of the uh, the open file here. Whether I should be optimistic, you know, it's a great question. This is a powerful square for us. Let's start getting a, a little bit of focus in that direction. See, this, like, it doesn't bother me. If you want to swap and give me the open file, so be it. Otherwise, I'm going to fork you. Um, but the fork, it's not, it's not a traditional fork. It's not as powerful as you might think. Because we go here, take, we're pretty much, uh, actually, I guess we would just take the queen. And then they would take my other rook. Hmm, I don't know. I might... I might have to think about it. I might have to think about that one. I'm willing to I'm willing to take control of the file though. This is the right move. I I think we would rather have two rooks than a queen right now. So we I don't think we would just take his queen. We also don't really have a great escape route after. And his rook is like going to destroy our pawn structure. So I definitely think the right play is not to take the queen if he does this. I think you just do this. Okay, but he didn't do that, which is which is beautiful. And then we will now take control of the open file regardless. And now we start the squeeze. Now now the squeeze begins. I don't know why I'm playing so dang fast either. Next. Rook here? Hmm. No. Not rook be there. Queen here. Very difficult to save that bishop. So you have to move it. And then we're in. We're, we're on you. If you don't move it here, we get your queen. Yeah, this is... Today is not Twitch Rivals. However, there is a, there's a Twitch Rivals coming up on March 2nd. That is a hand and brain tournament that I'll be playing in. Um, those, I mean, the only details I know, it's March 2nd at 1 Pacific time. Uh, and also, uh, there's a $25,000 prize pool. That's, that's my only, that's the only intel I have. You know as much as I do now.
I don't know. I don't know my partner. I am well. Okay, I I am. I'm pretty sure. I am the hand and not the brain. That's what I'll tell you. Okay, that was that was a solid win, but we are. I mean, like we're at an embarrassing elo kind of down here. Um, no doubt about that. You know, I started playing the Carol Khan in response to E4. I like it. the closer board gambit. It opens things up. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> There's a lot to like in that it opens things up. Um, I'll, I'll do the exchange here. Always love when someone pre-moves in like a five-minute game. Like, you don't, you don't think that's maybe a little bit overkill? Like, what if I did something completely different and you just moved your, your knight there? What do I know, man? So, like, I'll, I'll take it. But I want, I want this space. We need to stop them from taking control of this incredible space. They're moving so fast. It's hard not to be a little intimidated. You know, I, w I was kind of laughing about it, but I actually don't think you're wrong. The triple fork. <laughs> it's kind of interesting, at least. I don't know if it's actually any good, but it, it's certainly interesting. Um, we don't mind. We don't mind. Delightful. A delightful move to be sure. They're moving so fast, dude. It's so scary. They, I think they got me. Or at least I have to do that. How did they puzzle out that combo? I'm not suggesting anything untoward is happening. Merely that the combo is a little bit... <laughs> Ambitious, shall we say. Um, more, more ambitious than I would have originally anticipated. They might just be a puzzle rush god. It's true. Then again, I, now that I look at it, I'm like, I'm, I'm not sure that it worked out that well. Interesting. I want to pin the rook. Okay. Maybe I didn't want to pin the rook. <laughs> this is a little spooky now. <laughs> he's kind of in there. He's, he's Ant-Man inside the Iron Man suit now. This is a this is a thinker. Have you been watching WandaVision? I have actually. Um I think it's pretty good. I'm sure that was probably the next question. I will say that I I don't know. I feel like on unlike a lot of Marvel stuff, I'm kind of like into it less than the average person, I think. And like the especially the first three episodes, like I get it. People people are hitting like in my opinion with some takes that are kind of annoying to me. Like like whenever people are like, oh, it's a little too slow. People are like, that's what TV's like back in the day. And I'm like, I know I was like alive for it. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying like, okay, so you want you want to resolve the pin, and I can't really blame you. Um, but. Uh, to some extent, I am like, like, especially the fact that the first couple of episodes were basically just the sitcom played straight. I did, in my opinion, I found myself kind of being like, don't worry, I get it. 
That is not what I meant to put it back on A8. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm like, I get it. Um, but at the same time, I'm willing to sack my queen for two rooks, I guess, at this point. Um, that's what I'm saying. Is I'm will Okay, well, that's a little harder to justify. Um, I think we need something like this. Now, this is hor we We actually basically just lost. It's not all because of the misclicks. They, they had like a superior attacking position. Of course, you know, the misclicks don't help. The pre moves, dude, this, uh, this madness. Anyway, I did, I, I don't know. I found it like, I guess where I was at is that like the first couple of episodes, they did strike me a little bit as like, you know, I got the joke. The joke is that it's played like a sitcom. I get that it's played like a sitcom because, you know, Wanda's Eastern European uh, heritage is like, uh, you know, she sees that as being like the idyllic, um, you know, like American experience or whatever. But I was also just kind of like, get on with it. I get it. It's, it's got some funny stuff. I'm not against it. It's a very weird game. I feel like, you know, obviously I've made some mistakes. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing against an opponent who is like alternatively uh, amazing and also terrible. I feel like there, there's been the occasional like, you know, one IQ move, but, but definitely also the occasional like, uh, <laughs> like galaxy brain. Yeah, probably don't do that one. Yeah, I think we just lost right there. I'm, I'm willing to resign this. He's not going to lose on time with 49 seconds left. All right, give me one more. Definitely, I, I don't feel like we played our best chess today. But uh, yeah, I think this is more than anything else. Just a reminder, we should be playing less bullet in general. Bullet is kind of like, um, it's like a psychic poison. It saps your ability to, to play well. No, I didn't stop WandaVision episode one. I, I mean, I'm still watching. I mean, I said it was good, even. You could, you could say. Um, it's more just like, as of, you know what? Fair play. I'm not. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna do that. I might be persuaded to do this though. I. You know what? You called my bluff, and and I'm I'm happy for you. I don't know where you're gonna castle though, and that scares me, Eric. I suppose you could still castle kingside. Which is also what I will do, to be fair. Okay, I mean, I, I, see, I see where your head's at here. But guess what? You got no... Uh, you, you got no... What? That was surprising. Um, you got no uh, dark square bishop. With no dark square bishop, I find myself unperturbed. We will engage in a little bit of the long game. Doesn't bother me. Okay, now I have to think for a second. We go here. Threaten the queen. If they take, we take. Queen is under threat. I like it. Give me the square. I want the square. WandaVision is really good. I'm glad people are enjoying it. I'm enjoying it as well. I do though. I I, I find I'm I'm hoping it resolves with some with some cool uh, implications because to some extent, as of right now, I find myself being like, it's fun, 
but I'm I'm missing the I don't know I, I guess I'm I don't give it as much credit as as I should for the for novelty let's put it that way okay fair enough I'll trade you pawn for pawn Ah, oh, it's not even pawn for pawn because your freaking bishop is covered. Mm, but if you take this, oh my god, you're lost in freaking no man's land, man. If you take this, you're you're trapped. You're trapped in the nightmare zone. What an interesting dilemma. Um, this is a really good move, actually. Where's uh, well, we have to trade. Like, let's not get. <laughs> Let's not get ridiculous. Okay, then lock down this bishop. I think we have to resolve this. And then we move rook here. That is completely, uh, as of right now, unacceptable. Please push one more. It would, it would make my day. We do have to watch out for the mate. Okay. So having done that, what's the next step? What an interesting question. Prepare yourself for this incredible play. Yeah, I definitely... Uh, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. I feel like I for sure need uh, a lesson before... before po uh, Not Pog Champ, sorry. Um... <laughs> I wish. Um, I feel like I for sure need a lesson before Twitch Rivals. I know Levy is like insanely busy. Well, that's one way to do it. But I, I hope I could perhaps find some time. Um... Either way, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a lesson bigly. I mean, he is doing the training for Pog Champs, and and like I don't mean to be rude to Twitch at all, but Pog Champs is a, a bigger deal <laughs> than uh, than rivals. You don't want the pawn, huh? Oh, you can't take the pawn, I guess. That's, you know, again, sometimes you make good moves, sometimes you don't. <laughs> anyway, this game's over. Yeah, all right. All right, all right. Let's pivot. Um, 